Hi, my name's Kevin Davies and our family has been farming in York for over 100 years. We're running about 3,500 hectares of owned and le leased farm, of which we're cropping 2,300 roughly and uh, running 3,500 merino ewes over PD rams. It's been a family farm for several generations. I've came home from going to Narriton Ag College and came home on the farm and we've since been running that with my brother as a family f set up for the last 30 odd years. Average yields are sort of, our five year average would be for wheat just over three tonne, barley 3.2 and, and canola uh, 1.5, lupins 1.7 I think roughly. History would say that, yeah we're, we're above average for rainfall, um, although like, like the wheat belt our rainfalls come back as well so we're sitting um, probably 350 mils roughly on a, on a good season but that is rather variable over the last five years. A uh, box of gold was recommended by an agronomist, however me as, as well as a lot of farmers around we're all, all looking for another alternative pre-emergent herbicide to use for ryegrass. So we jumped on board quite early on and tried it out in 2007 um, and put it in our, our program so we could actually have an integrated um, weed management program and change, change uh, chemicals accordingly, um, so not use the one product year in year out. On most of it it's sort of uh, two wheats, a barley and a canola then back into wheat. Our pasture phases stay as pasture because some of our country is fairly rough so our, our crop paddocks are multiple cropped. Um, lupins come into some of our country um, and then we'd have a five-year rotation having lupins in, in the rotation there as well. Yeah, using box of gold, um, up until this year we were using it pre-emergent on certain, certain parts of our cropping program and using our other pre-emergent chemicals as well. This year, under our advice from our agronomist, we decided to trial it some post-emergent on some early ryegrass that had shot in, in barley and found we had a really good result with that. The main reason we, we ended up using it this year was our seeding conditions were were marginal. The, the pre-emergent chemical we put out didn't work that well because of, of dry, drying soil and, and, and other factors that we couldn't control. So we, we tried it this year. It, it was crucial that um, we, we target damp soil. So we, we waited until we had a, a rainfall event of sort of, I think we had a 12 mil event and then a 7 mil event within two days and I sprayed it shortly after that and with, with the hope that we would get more follow-up rain. We didn't, however, get the follow-up rain um, in a substantial amount, but we did have a, a small one mil event sort of seven days afterwards, and that seemed to be enough, I suppose, um, to, to have a really good result. A box of gold, tank mixing and, and using throughout. Uh, when we're using it pre-emergent, was never an issue. It's just mix it up with, with virtually all, all the standard mixes that we use. Um, so no issues there at all. With, with the success we had this year, we've actually had other growers that's it's, it's come and had a look at the, the results we've had and, and wondered what, what we'd used. So as far as using it again next year, especially in our post-emergent regime, definitely, uh, it'll be part of our setup. And there will be other guys, I'm sure, would be very keen to try it as well.